Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm reviewing a pen that comes packaged like this, which is kind of cool. The pen comes from the UK. It is a pen from the brand Pen7. Uh, it is their so far named compact pen. That name may change before this review comes out. I will uh, say what it is down in the description below. Uh, it comes packaged like this in this beautiful bamboo uh, tube, uh, which you take the cap off and in here you get um, little like polishing cloth that the pen comes wrapped in. I've got it out of here, of course, because I've been using it. Uh, but it's nice that it sort of comes with this uh, because one of the great features of this pen is the material and the finish of this material. And this is the pen. This is the Pen 7, as I said, compact fountain pen. Uh, this is the petrol ebonite and this is the black ebonite and you can sort of choose your own combinations if you go on to their website it comes uh, with a number six size bock steel nib uh either extra fine fine medium or broad so let's talk about the parts and features and uh do a writing sample and all that kind of stuff so the pen unscrews uh it's a yeah screw cap and it comes off in just under two turns and typical of a pocket pen uh it then screws on to the back here but what's kind of nice about this model uh and this is something that i really really love uh, is the fact that it's a single set of threads that both are for capping. So it caps onto those threads there and then posting where it caps onto those threads there again. It's beautiful. It's such a lovely sort of uh, way of going about it. Um, there is no clip or roll stop on this pen, obviously, and this pen will roll. The top is flat cut ebonite, uh, the, and very beautifully polished. The cap sort of... Um, this is sort of concave sort of finish uh, design. So it's sort of, you know, sort of uh, thins out a little bit there and then builds back out to the threads. And then you get obviously the different color section barrel with these like three little uh, grooves and then the rounded end there. The section, as you can see, is a nice long section and it kind of needs to be on a pen of this size. It does taper down and then flares out and gives you this beautiful sort of unbranded, very clean steel, number six Bock nib with a plastic feed. The pen is a uh, converter pen. I will say converter, not cartridge converter, because there are a very few small converters, including things like the Caveco Squeeze converter, which quite frankly isn't worth its time, uh, that will fit in this. You unscrew the pen there. Yes, like just, just let's look at that again. Like that is like an almost seamless in everyday movement. Like you will not see the seam there. It's beautifully done. The finishing is unbelievable. Beautiful smooth threads there. Uh, and then I have a Mont Blanc in cartridge in there, which is the Mont Blanc Mystery Black. Uh, nice smooth threads. Now the pen technically could be eye dropping. A little bit of silicone grease on there. Uh, if you wanted to like, you know, it might break up the line. If you wanted to put an O-ring sort of there, you probably could. Um, there are works in, you know, things in the making for future models of this pen that will include an eyedropper ability. So check the website for details on that or improved eyedropper ability. This would probably be quite fine. Those threads are nice and secure. They are tight. I so said it tightens down nicely onto this point, like it's super secure. Um, so you'd probably be quite okay. Though, test it out before you use it just in case because, like, you know, I'm not responsible for your shirt pocket getting damaged with ink. We'll do a quick size comparison now, and obviously I'm gonna pull up the uh, traditional Lamy Safari here, which you can see it's a much smaller pen. It's obviously designed to be a pocket pen. So I put the Kaweco uh, Sport here as well. Now this is the one of the limited edition uh, exclusives that they did with um, the, the Storm Milligram here in Australia. This is the Sage Green, which I think is absolutely stunning. Uh, you can see it is smaller than the Kaweco Sport. And of course, as we'll see in the next frame, has a number six nib as well. Obviously, neither the Kaweco Sport nor the Pen 7 fountain pen are designed to be written with unposted. Uh, I just wanted to show them here in comparison, but as you can see, the Pen 7 there has its number six size nib, bigger than both the Lamy and the Kaweco nibs, of course. I'll just quickly show it in this uh, configuration first, because this is kind of how a lot of people would traditionally write with these pens. You can see it is a pretty decent size uh, in comparison to Lamy's Fire in that sense. And when you put like nib tip to nib tip length, it's actually just about the same size. Now, obviously when the Lamy Safari is posted, it is a much longer pen. So what are the dimensions of the Pen7 compact fountain pen? Well, it is compact. It is 94 millimeters when it is capped. 
It is 88 when it is uncapped, obviously. For most people, that is going to be absolutely too short to write with, unless you're you know, ticking something off a shopping list or something quick like that. Uh, but for actual writing sessions, posted nice and securely on those threads, uh, it is 130 millimeters. So it's a really good uh, writing length like this. The grip section goes from about 11.5 to 12.5, so it's very, very comfortable. And of course, with that number six size nib, it's a great length from the page. The pen is light. It is primarily ebonite. With an ink cartridge in it, with the obviously the plastic feed and the metal nib, the pen weighs a total of 12.5 grams. This is very, very light. 9.2 of that are in the body and 3.3 of that are in the cap. So, all, But, you know, you're not going to write with this unposted. So 12.5 grams, very comfortable, very light. Uh, if anything, a little, perhaps maybe a little too light, but what are you going to get with an ebonite pen? It is a very light material. It's designed to be light. It feels effortless in your hand. And when a pen writes as well as this does, the light weight actually feels really nice in the hand. Speaking of how this pen writes, let's do a writing sample. So we have the pen seven. For the moment, I'm still just gonna call this the compact uh, fountain pen um, with a number six Bock nib steel. Oh, right. Bock, B-O-C-K. Uh, it is, the ink in this is Mont Blanc. I am writing very badly today. Mont Blanc Mystery Black. Beautiful. Okay, let's do the writing. It rides very smoothly, as you would expect from a Bok nib. Bok make very, very fine nibs. There is no problem with this pen keeping up. You know, with fast writing, not at all. Uh, it's Bok nibs aren't super wet. Uh, they're probably a touch drier, say traditionally, than like a Yovo nib, but it's very smooth. It's very comfortable. Reverse writing, possible. It is not a flex nib, it is not soft, uh, it is a steel nib, but it writes beautifully and it writes consistently. And in a pocket pen, I think that's something that you can really, that you kind of need. You need the fact that, uh, you know, this pen will sit in your handbag or in your pocket or in your, you know, satchel or whatever you carry around with you. And when you take it out, it'll write when you need it to. And this pen does that. And so big, 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 big ticks uh, in the pro column for this pen. So what can you expect to pay for this pen? Well, it is 149 pounds. That puts it in a high price point, A for a pocket pen, B for an ebonite pen with a steel nib. But you get a pen that writes really well. It's a really lovely, unique design. There's personalizable, personalizable elements, such as the different colors of material you can get. And it is a boutique maker, someone who's really just starting out in this and actually doing amazing things. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they do next. But yes, £149 for the Pen7 Compact Fountain Pen. So what are the pros and cons? Let's start with the con. And I say the con because it's kind of only one. My only concern, and this is just a concern, is that this material through the middle here is very thin. There were points where I picked up and I could feel it flex under my fingers. Now I know Ebonite is a fairly robust material, so it's not going to like snap. But it is a very thin material, so you do need to take a little bit of care, perhaps, with this pen. The pros, the durability of the build. I think like there's enough robust elements of this to make this a pen that you can carry in your pocket. You can carry this in your handbag and not have to worry. Everyday carry, absolutely fine. I love the size for that as well. It's compact, it's comfortable, you know, you can easily fit it in any pocket, and it's light enough that you're not gonna, like, really feel it in your pocket. I adore this finish. It is unbelievably well done. It is smooth. It is crystal clear. I referred to this uh, on my Instagram as a crystal finish just because like it is almost mirrored. It is so, you can see the lights reflecting off each of those surfaces. 
Like it's just absolutely sublime. And that also goes for the tolerances. These threads are beautifully cut. Uh, everything lines up absolutely perfectly. That seam there between the uh, the barrel or the, the where you open up to put the cartridge in and the section, like almost, almost invisible. Like almost Lamy 2000 kind of finished tolerances there. I love the clean, simple design of this pen. Like there's some nice little elements, like these little like grooves here and the fact that the cap swells at the end, to the end there. I like those design elements, but I love the simplicity of it. I like that it's not trying to be too much. It's just being a really, really well-designed, well-made fountain pen. And that is a huge tick. The other thing I love is that you can choose different colors. Ebonite's a cool material and there are, I think 24 colors or 24 combinations that you can have for this pen. So there's one for every taste. Uh, check out Pen7 on Instagram, check out their website, really worth looking at. This is a beautiful pen that writes spectacularly uh, and a design that I just absolutely love. So thank you for watching and a big thank you to Pen7 uh, for sending this out for review. Um, it's a beautiful pen and one that uh, um, I'm really glad to be sharing with you all. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. And please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you would like to support my channel, please get in touch. I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens. Enjoy writing. And I'll talk to you soon.